Okay, this is number 25 from the Math 181 practice midterm. It says find the two x-intercepts of the function f and show that f prime of x equals 0 at some point between the two x-intercepts. So f of x equals x times the square root of x plus 2. Now, uh, first thing for the x-intercepts, that's going to occur when f of x equals 0. So we're going to take f of x equals x times the square root of x plus 2 and set it equal to 0. So x equals 0, or the square root of x plus 2 equals 0, which means x plus 2 equals 0, which means x equals negative 2. So our x-intercepts are going to be 0, 0, and negative 2, 0. So we're going to hope we can find a value that's going to be f prime of x equals 0 in between these. So we want f prime of x equal to 0 somewhere between negative 2, 0 and 0, 0. Now note that this means that we have a horizontal slope or a horizontal tangent line. somewhere in between there, between negative 2, 0, and 0, 0. So if we have f of x equals x times the square root of x plus 2, we could write that as x times x plus 2 to the 1 half power. So our derivative, f prime of x, we're going to have to use the product rule. So that would be like saying x times 1 half times x plus 2 to the negative 1 half plus 1 times just that x plus 2 to the 1 half. And if I simplify this, I have x over 2 times the square root of x plus 2 plus the square root of x plus 2. So now we're going to set f prime of x equal to 0. That means we have x over 2 times the square root of x plus 2 plus the square root of x plus 2 equals 0. So x over 2 times the square root of x plus 2 equals negative square root of x plus 2. Now I'm going to multiply by that denominator on both sides to clear out the denominator. So I'll have x over 2 times the square root of x plus 2 times 2 square root of x plus 2 equals negative square root of x plus 2 times 2 square root of x plus 2. So I multiply the, both sides by the same thing, and this denominator on the left goes away. And what do we have? We have x equals negative 2 times x quantity x plus 2, or x equals negative 2x minus 4. And if we add 2x to both sides, we have 3x equals negative 4, or x equals negative 4 thirds. So f prime of x equals 0 when x equals negative 4 thirds, which is within the interval from 0, or sorry, say negative 2 to 0. And that's it.